Hello artists, Miss Schickel here with an autumn fun activity for you to do today, exploring shapes, colors, patterns, and how artists play and show comedy in their art. So today your challenge is to go out and find some autumn leaves. So I just went on a walk outside and I found this maple. I found a sweet gum and oh, this sweet gum, two different sweet gums. That was kind of cool to find them in the, these different colors. Um, I found this oak leaf. This one is an American beach. And I learned a new tree today. These come from a Tupelo tree. Didn't know that one. And then I found on my last minute, I found this other oak and I loved it because it had brown and green on it. So your job is to go out and find some leaves. Maybe the, I have a little more than I need, I think, but maybe three to five leaves, okay? Once you've found your leaves, come on back and we'll get started creating. So you're gonna need a piece of paper for your background. You're gonna need some kind of scrap paper. I have this paper where I was playing with markers and so I'm gonna use this as my scrap paper. You're going to need your scissors, whichever the right size scissors are for your hands, right? You wanna find the one that fits. And a marker. I'm just gonna use a black marker because my leaves are so colorful. So job number one is I'm gonna use my scrap paper and I'm gonna cut some um, circles. Now, if I have three leaves, I'm going to need six circles because I'm going to put eyes on my leaves. They're not gonna be permanent, they're just gonna play. So, remember cutting circles? I'm gonna cut a square out of the corner, squares, right? So that's two, four, Six. So then I'm just going to cut my circle. You can use the cut off the corners technique, right? Where we cut, 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 and cut. So now I have my um, one, two, three octagon, right? And then I trim little pieces off to make it round. Okay, so I have my circle. And then I'm going to put a dot in the center to become an eye. And then I need to make the rest of the eyes. A trick you can do, if you can hold the papers together at the same time, you can cut three at once. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to put three little papers together and I'm going to cut off the corners. And then I'm gonna trim around and take off all the little fingernails so that instead of being an octagon anymore, I now have my, well, mine are kind of oval shaped, but I could round them out if I wanted. And I'm just gonna put my black dots in the center of these. And then I need, well, I'm gonna just go with these for right now. And if I have room on my paper, I can um, make the last set. So in order for you to be able to see, I'm going to have to turn my computer. So I'm just gonna rotate it around and I need to move a few things out of the way artist who did not think about her workspace before she started. Hmm, I don't know. So organize your workspace first so you don't have to do all of this later. All right, here we go. So I have picked a couple of my leaves and I've put them on my paper. Oh, and it looks like I do have room to fit three leaves. So I'm gonna have to um, get 
Oh, ha ha ha. Tricks in here. So we're thinking comedy, right? So we are playing. I have some leaf people. So here we have three friends. Ooh, hey, your eyes are getting cross-eyed. Hmm. So I've just set my eyes on top there. Now, I think this one is going to have the eyes down there. And then I'm going to, and I'm just going to cut this last eye, these last two eyes out over top of the garbage can. So they start to have character. They're a little bit humorous. They're funny. So as an artist, I'm playing with the idea of using leaves as heads and bodies. And that's a silly thing because people's heads and bodies don't usually, aren't usually leaf shaped. So I'm going to just do these last two eyes here and I'm going to put this one on like this. So now I have these three friends that are hanging out and I can add some details. This one, this little American beach reminds me of an animal. So I am going to give it some animal paws. And I'm going to put some ears on top. Where is that eye going? And it's sort of got the start of a tail, so I'm just going to make a bigger tail. All right, so there's my, my little animal friend. And can I get the screen to come up? Oh, there it goes. There's my animal friend. And then, let's see. This one here, it needs a hand. Two, three, four, five fingers, and one, two, three, four, five fingers, and let's see, I think we're going to make a leg coming down here, and a leg coming down here, and... Um, I think they're going to wear shoes with shoelaces. So they need socks. Um, that's supposed to be connected. I don't know if it looks that way or not. Shoelaces and socks. Hmm. And then my friend needs... That's part of the leg there, right? I'm going to move that over so it fits. I'm the artist. I say it fits. It's the leg. Um, needs a hat. Ha! And then this one, I'm going to make a foot here and a foot here, and I'm going to make it high-heeled shoes, and let's see, hmm, hand coming here, and a hand over here, and hmm, my friend needs like, what does she need? She needs a uh, needs jewelry maybe or or maybe this is a crown and she needs jewels maybe she's okay maybe she's got a bird friend that sits at the very top up here ha there we go so have some fun playing with some leaf friends be a comedian and a comic artist. Okay, so you're being a little bit of a cartoonist. And play with it. And then, you know, I can take this and I can take these off. And I can flip my paper over. 
and then I can try this out with some of my other leaves. I can also turn this leaf in a different direction, right? And on this side of the paper, maybe it's like this. So oh, helps if they're a little flatter, right? And I can turn the eyes on here and I can put eyes here. And then I can give these friends some different arms and legs and hats and hair. Mm. This one's going to get an arm coming out here, out of the stem. I can already see that. Three, four. And I feel like I should have, you know, I was talking about the crown, although this one feels crown-like, right? So I'm going to put some stars up on top to be like jewels on top of this one. That's a star. Just trust me, it's a star. <laughs> um, ooh, and then if that one needs a, if that has a crown, then we need a cape and some ruffles on there. And we'll put the feet coming out of the bottom. And then that means that the hands will be here inside this way for this one. It's kind of like it's holding its head as an umbrella. Ah! <laughs> That's a silly one, right? Um, and then I didn't decide about feet for these guys. Maybe the feet for this one are going to happen. I'm going to make it really big. And... Um, I go the other direction. This is kind of hard to do upside down. And, um, ooh, you know what? We need to make your hat even bigger. And it gets a pom pom on the end. And I feel like it should have stripes. So make some friends. Take a picture of your friends and share them with me. I'd love to see your autumn leaf friends. Show me your cartoons of autumn leaves. Have a great time being a silly artist. See you soon.